What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to do a video and show you how to change the oil on a BMW 335i uh, E90 version. Here's my car. Uh, it's due for an oil change and I uh, thought I'd do a video while I while I do the work. So first thing you're going to need obviously is the oil. It needs to be approved the BMW LL01 approved which is long life oil approved and uh, this is, it says on the back that it's BMW LL01 approved. You're going to need the filter. And the filters are a little bit different than, than most uh, car filters you see because it doesn't have the, the outside coating, the, the outside shell doesn't hang off the bottom of the engine like that or the side or whatever. And we'll look at that later. Uh, you're going to need a special tool to remove. You're either going to need a strap wrench or a wrench like this to remove the uh, the top part of the the filter. 17 millimeter socket wrench. Obviously your drain pan and a jack and a jack stand and some paper towels. Now the other thing is, and I forgive me, I have one on order, a real one, but I had to rig this one up for this project. But you're going to need a jack pad adapter. Um, and what this is, uh, basically I cut this to a little piece of wood to fit inside here. And then I got a little block of wood to fit on top. And what that's going to do is, hopefully we can see this. This is the jack point for, let me see here. This is the jack point. And see how it's recessed in there? Um, your jack may or may not be able to get in that hole and if it does it's probably going to mangle something up. Okay, so we've got the car jacked up. I'm going to leave the jack here holding the weight of the car. I put this under here for safety and uh, it's not really on a, a jack point or anything like that but uh, it would prevent the car from falling on me uh, as I'm under the car if for some, something were to happen to the, uh, the jack. Um, now I'll show you why this thing is important. This right here, this is where the oil filter is. Uh, it's inside there and this is basically the cap. And without, I mean you could use a strap wrench on this, put the strap around it and, and pull. That's one option. This is another option. This tool is designed to specifically fit right on there and then you can turn it with a normal socket wrench. So what we need to do is we need to open this cap, it's just a square cap, so that's easy to do by hand, and it just, uh, it's, it's stuck on there, so you just leave it like that, and then we need to remove this, and uh, you're, you're going to need a 3 8 drive if you have a, something like this. <coughs> Or if you just have a strap wrench, obviously that's all you need. But if you okay, I've got the uh, filter out, and you can kind of see, got it propped up a little bit here. Here's where it came from, and there's a pool of oil in there. And then uh, the oil uh, filter just kind of sits inside that little cap. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the uh, drain plug to uh, remove the old oil and uh, it's behind a little access door right here. Basically you use that little nut, you twist it, that will unlock it, the, the whole door pops out and there will be a 17 millimeter nut behind it that you will uh, remove to drain the oil. Okay, here's what the nut looks like that you'll be removing once you remove the access door. Okay, now we've got the oil draining, so we're going to let that run for a little while. Okay, so while we're waiting for the oil to drain, uh, well, let's go ahead and remove... Well, actually, I'll show you this. It's a new filter, and it comes with two gaskets or O-rings. Um, one bigger one around the top, and then one smaller one that goes around this this part right here. Okay, so now we've got the uh, we got it taken apart here. So we're gonna put the uh, new filter in. 
We're going to open this package. Oh. <clears throat> Just lost one of them. <clears throat> We're going to put the small O ring right there. And the big O ring goes around down here. Like so. so. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this back in. And we're going to tighten this down. And then we're going to, we need to use a torque. Sorry, I forgot to mention we need a torque, a torque wrench. And uh, we're going to tighten this down to 18 foot pounds of torque. Okay, now it's all ready to go. Uh, we just need to put the oil drain plug on next and we can fill it up with oil. Now this car actually takes the most oil of any passenger car I've ever been associated with. Um, not only do you, will you need a normal five gallon or uh, five quarts, you also need another two quarts. It takes a total of seven quarts uh, to fill this engine up to capacity. So make sure that you get enough. Uh, I obviously got ten quarts total, but I'll have some left over for next time. Okay, another unique part of this car is that it does not have an oil dipstick. It's read by the computer. So what you have to do to check the oil level after you fill it up is push this button a couple times until it gets to oil and then you push this button and it will, it will read but I think you have to go a few miles um, so I'm gonna take it on a quick test drive, come back, and uh, we'll check the oil level and make sure that we're all full. Okay, so I drove the car for about two miles or so. Come back, and let's check it. Okay, so now we're reading up to the maximum line, so that means we're good. So I don't need to add any more oil. And then the next thing we want to do is reset the, uh, the check engine light, uh, warning light, to show that we have replaced the engine oil and uh, to start a new countdown. Okay, so now we're going to reset the, uh, the service light, put the key fob in the ignition, push start once, actually twice, wait until everything shuts off, all the beeping shuts off. Okay, and then you put your foot on the brake, Hold down the odometer reset and a little light will flash and then it'll go to the different functions and you can use the little scroll here to scroll between. Um, it has a, in the owner's manual, it has a explanation for what all these, these mean. Um, but anyway, the one we want obviously here is the oil. So then we push this other button to reset it hit that again to reset and there we go we are reset on the mileage count okay so now we don't have any more warning lights and we are good to go so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it taught you a few things I know I learned a few things this was my first time to change the oil in this car and uh, anyway thanks for watching and good luck